Hi, I'm Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I have a devotion for you today. I'm reading out of Ephesians chapter 5, uh, beginning at, at verse 8. It says, For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. For the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. And try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Now, that is, is something I guess we're not surprised to find it in the Bible that says you need to walk in the light. You need to, you need to walk in a, in a context of good deeds and, uh, and, and spreading love and, and respect and, uh, and care and compassion. Uh, that your walk, your, your going around in life, needs to be marked by virtue. And it says, don't take any part in the unfruitful works of darkness. It, we, we have lost a lot because we can sometimes say, well, that's a bad thing to do and that's a good thing to do. It might almost be better if, if, our, if we were readier to understand someone coming up and saying, you know, that's an unfruitful work of darkness going on over there. You don't want to be part of that. And we don't. We can look, look at works of rage, jealousy, anger, prejudice, lust, uh, avarice and greed, covetousness, and say that these are works of darkness. Ephesians is that book that, that just says, look, darkness in here is a stand-in for the evil moral choices and acts. And so the, these acts have fruit. Uh, these attitudes have fruit. And, but they're unfruitful in themselves. In other words, they have consequences that we could call fruit. They have, they have outcomes that we could call fruit, but they're not fruit as in anything useful. They're not fruit as in anything that could give or sustain life. They just have consequences and not very nice ones. Uh, take no part. That's, that's my favorite bit there. It just says it right out. Who says the Bible is hard to understand? Don't take any part and the deeds of darkness that won't bring light and life, but instead expose them. Live in the light of God. Let his light shine through you, and let us be among people as ones who walk in the light. Amen.